Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Pendulum. Let's go. Big news for the channel. We just released TripGaming.com. So check out the beautiful Trip Gaming merch on the website in the description down below and get yourself an amazing Mommy Celine Playmat, a new addition to the website. They're almost sold out. I released it a few days ago and there's been amazing feedback on it. So thank you all for purchasing all your Celine Playmats. If you want to learn more about Pendulum, sign up for the Pendulum training membership down below. And without further ado, why don't we show you guys the most broken pendulum deck you ever seen? Let's go! <laughs> What better way to deal with quarantine than to watch the pen god himself? Annihilate the universe of pendulums. I want you guys to look at this comment tutorial, okay? I'll be doing the deck profile on this very list at the end of the video, but I want you guys to really see this first because this will blow your mind and really change the way you look at pendulums, okay? I want you guys to look at this and learn, okay? Because the plays I do here, not 99% of the world will not see, okay? So please pay close attention to how I do this because oh yeah, a lot of you would have saved the abductor here and put in scale, but it's the incorrect play, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly why. So we're gonna use Surpris there, summon out Jackal. You want to get as much plus as possible. That's the point of this deck. If your opponent is gonna Ash Blossom anywhere, if you're gonna do whatever anywhere, you wanna still ensure you're gonna plus as much as possible and still put up infinite amount of the gates. So, first thing first, we're gonna go Jackal, we're gonna keep plusing. Stay tuned till the end of the video. You guys are gonna see some greatness, man. I'm telling you guys right now. And again, I'm going to tell you, if you want to get your beautiful Celine playmat, get yours before they sell out. They will sell out fast, man. They're selling out fast. They're even more than the Mighty Master Mat, which is amazing. Here, we're going to just keep drawing. You've you got to recognize you have a Lord of Darkness here. you got to recognize you're going to get a free plus off of the Abductor. Here, we're going to get a free Souls. Already, we're plus one, and we didn't even start yet. We haven't went to Crowley yet. Our next line of play, we're going to go into Crowley to plus even more. Okay, pay close attention as I do this. The combo is going to blow your mind at the end. And the deck profile as well. We're going to show at the very end. Let's go. Quarantine and Yu-Gi-Oh. Quarantine and Pendulums, baby. Let's go. We're going to draw two cards here. As you see here, the our plan worked out. Okay? We end up using Souls a little prematurely. Uh, I, I understand we did not use Souls Effect to... Uh, we did not use Souls Effect to uh, send anything to the graveyard. But that's fine. The way the hand was there, I would have rather just used Souls right away. Uh, sorry, we really, really rather use knowledge right away. You don't always need to use Souls of Fact to discard. You don't gain anything. We end up drawing a second an institution. It would have been good to discard that institution or extra spells. But you know what? There's plenty of souls in the deck. We can still end up maybe getting another one or even summoning one back with Celine, which I do many times. Well, we can't here because we're already special there. But anyways, we're going to keep going here. We're going to draw and uh, we're going to banish that souls. Now I want you guys to recognize something. We're facing a very good player here. He has 12,000 experience. Uh, 12,000 experience. I know he's not going to misplay. I know he's going to know when to activate knowledge. He did not use knowledge on my... Sorry, I mean Ash Blossom. He did not use Ash Blossom on my knowledge. He did not use Ash Blossom on my desires. So here you got to do the big brain play. You got to know he does not have Ash Blossom. He's got to know this for sure. He's not an idiot. Uh, so you're going to activate the servant. So never clog your skills like this unless you know your opponent doesn't have Ash Blossom. Because now we're going to activate Mastery, we're going to activate Institution, and be able to trigger the Servant to free up the scale. We're going to summon, we already got, we have 10 cards left in our deck. So we have no negates left in the deck. The only negates we have are in the extra deck, and Graveyard, or Banish. So here we're just going to summon a random Abductor, because we're going to make notice, you're going to go into Selene first. I want you guys to see what I'm going to do here. Okay, it's actually a super big brain play. We're going to go into Mighty Master, we're going to go into Selene right off the top. Uh, we're going to go into Selene. Now we're going to activate Selene's effect. Selene's going to get 9 counters. So you're going to activate Selene's effect here to summon a Mighty Master from the... Oh, sorry. First, we're going to add with the Abductor. Uh, then we're going to summon a, Selene, a Mighty Master from the Graveyard. Then we're going to trigger our Mighty Master effect. So we use... Yeah, we we'll use Abductor. Yeah. We're going to use Mighty Master effect here to pop the Institution. And then we're going to go into Absolute. And Absolute and Servant is going to go to Phoenix. And that's going to go into a Vortex over here. You guys notice that play? And then Phoenix and Selene is going to go into another Selene uh, over there. 
And now the other Celine is going to get eight counters. If you guys notice what I just did there. I didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. And I got a free Vortex Dragon. I got into, I went into another Celine because we're going to trigger Celine's effect again. And what the, why do we have to go into Absolute Dragon? The same Mighty Masters I summoned are going to be summoned back. It doesn't matter. They're both hitting the field for free anyways. You just get a free Vortex Dragon and you're going to summon these back again by looping Celine again. It, it, the deck's just broken. But a lot of you guys don't see how to do these plays. So next, we're going to Pendulum Summon now. We're also going to, we're under Into the Void. We have so many cards to Pendulum Summon. So I'm actually going to let the Reflection go to the Graveyard from Into the Void. So we can summon it back next turn. I'm going to summon Abductor instead of Pendulum Summoning the Reflection. And that's just like that. All right. Now we're going to go into a Masquerina. We're going to use Selene's Effect again. Because it's not a hard one per turn. It's a soft one per turn. Per card, but not per name. So we're going to summon another Mighty Master. We're going to let F phase. We're going to let Into the Void discard the hand. And now on the opponent's turn, we flooded the Graveyard with Souls, with Absolute Dragon, letting Reflection go to the Graveyard. And now we're going to, after we bounce, oh, after we go Mask Rain, after we bounce the card with, Ma with Mighty Master, on his opponent's turn, we're going to go into Reflection or Mighty Master. You guys see just how broken that is? It's insane how broken this deck is. It boggles my mind. Yeah, activates the lore, then he auto scoops and he realizes I have Infinity Negates. If you want to see the rest of this duel, it's going to be on my Patreon, where I'm going to post multiple duels with, uh, with me talking about the duels, talking about everything, analysis, so you guys actually learn how to play properly. But that is the deck uh, combo tutorial. I'm not going to show you guys the deck profile. And the deck profile is a thing of beauty. I made lots of changes to the deck. It's amazing. We now add two reflections instead of one. You want to go into Absolute Dragon. As you guys saw, you need to go into Absolute Dragon. No matter what. To flood the graveyard. To summon back cards with, soul with souls. So with Selene twice. Or three times. Three times. The card you bring out with souls. And the card you bring out with, with uh, Absolute. So Reflection is good. Also, it's a starter. I tried three, but it's two. That is bad. Two is a great number. Two is a great number for Reflection. I've tried one before. I tried three before. But with Celine, the deck changes a lot. You need to prioritize going to an Absolute Dragon 100%, no matter what. And if you can, as I did. You guys saw where I went to Celine again, got the Vortex to the other zone. Kind of making like it's Master Roll 5 for you now. Who needs Master Roll 5 when you get it now? Uh, next, you got Triple Abductor. Uh, obviously, I will never change this card. It's the best card in the deck after Servant. One Magister, most overrated card in the deck. One is all you need. You don't want more than that. Uh, a lot Typically, if you play the deck correctly, uh, you're going to actually run out of negates your Magister to even summon. So, it just that's how good the deck that is. Triple Mighty Master, Triple Cerberus. If you really want, you can cut Cerberus to two. But the deck is just phenomenal uh, going second. So, we're going to keep it, and it's a low skill a lot of the time. Two Jackals, all you need. As long as Desires doesn't banish both Jackals, you win the duel, to be honest. You win anyway, it doesn't matter. Triple Chrono, one Time Gazer. A lot of people used to cut this card. Don't cut it. It's so broken. Chrono Craft Time Gazer is absolutely necessary. I'll never play the deck without it. It lets you make Selene so easily. And as you guys see, I played three Selene. Why? Because you go two Selene turn one. And because you fought the graveyard, you want a follow up. So Selene is the best follow up in the game because you're going to have such a flooded graveyard by the way I play the deck. With Absolute, with Beatrice, you're going to ensure your graveyard is so flooded that you're using Selene's effect twice, uh, three times. Uh, one, twice on your turn, once on the opponent's turn. So you want to save a third Selene for the best follow up ever. I prefer three Selene and one Electrum any day of the week. Two souls. I play three souls a lot because I understand it's not that broken of a card. I only want to play three of it because the card's broken. If I want to see multiples of it in my head, I want to see two money master going second in my head. I want to see two chronograph. I want to see servers. Uh, servers maybe not, but I want to see the desires. I want to see master. I want to see allure. I want to see these cards. It's okay to play triple of them. You want to see multiples, but souls. I don't want to see multiples. I, don't, I barely want to see one. It's a good card to send a, a mighty master to the graveyard, but. It's not that broken, but it's still good. It's good to play to get rid of the extras, especially after siding, to get rid of your extra even leads, your extra dark rulers, etc. Next, I want to talk about this ratio a lot. A lot of you guys don't play five of these. Let me tell you something. You fucking have to. It's not debatable. You must play these five, okay? A lot of what baffles me, a lot of you guys play three Magister or like garbage cards, let's say, like, on our stupid shit. Like, you guys play three Citadel, but you don't play five Blue Boy? What the hell? Like, are you guys really comparing Citadel to Blue Boy? I must open this card. It's a free draw too. Yeah, going into Crowley is nice, but it's also nice when you start your turn with two free cards. What the hell? You want to make sure you open it. It just ensures your hand's broken. And if you open two of these five, it's great. That means you get to save your normal summon for Magical Abductor to search Magician Souls. So if you open two, it's even better. It just equals two upstart goblins, which is way better than the normal summoning and wasting your normal summon. So if you open two of these, you just save your normal summon from Doctor, bro. Save your normal summon from Doctor. Get a free Magician Souls. So why waste your normal summon like that? That's why having two is great. Also, in a video I'm going to show on my Patreon, on my Trick King membership, 
uh, when Blue Boy gets in permanence, which is going to happen a lot of the time, it's your only good, good card that permanence. You go into you could go into Crowley again because you now have another Blue Boy to search. So you just use the, use it Crowley to search these three. So it's still it, it's amazing. Next one up, start one into the void. Triple desires, please play triple desires. Like it's so damn powerful. It says draw two cards and it says add free counters. It's the best card in the deck. Draw cards are the best card in the deck. Please play three Allure of Darkness for the people that don't play it. Every card, if it's not a dark, it searches a dark. Like with the exception of the first three cards and Magister. Abductor searches a dark. Mighty Master is a dark. Server searches a dark. It is a dark. It is a dark. It is a dark. Abductor searches a dark. Draws a dark. The whole deck, if it's not doesn't search a dark, it draws a dark. So you always have a card for a lord. Uh, triple master, obviously. Double institution. I cut institution from three to two. Why? It could possibly brick you. And we're not in the game here to brick. This deck will never brick you ever. Ever. So you want to ensure that no sand here, no permutation of the hand is going to brick you. And obviously no permutation here will brick you. You can shuffle a thousand times. Broken hand. 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 Every hand is broken. The worst hand here is Servant Triple Chronograph Jackal, and it's still a broken ass hand. There's just no bad hand here whatsoever, and all eight hands are five negates. So as you see, that's why you gotta pick the deck. This deck is crafted to perfection, to perfection. I'm Gordon Ramsay cooking steak, bro. I am. This is perfection at its finest. Do yourselves a favor and play this deck card for card. One Citadel. Why the card's honestly pretty trash, but you wanna make sure for like I said, you don't wanna have bricky hands. Look at a hand that I'm going to show you guys, okay? I'm going to show you guys a hand right here. Uh, this hand, Hands like this could happen a lot. I uh, don't know, abductor, something like this. All right, you draw five of these hands. Where are your spell cards at? Where are your spell cards? You have no spell cards. For a hand like this, the best card for Mastery to search is a Citadel. Because you want to get more spell cards flowing to trigger all your cards. So for hands like this, that's why you want to play one Citadel. Sometimes Mastery has to search Citadel for when you have four monsters and one spell card. So that's why you need to play one Citadel. Uh, it's honestly not that good of a card. I don't really want to draw it. But when you draw it, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. It's still an okay, decent card. But it just allows you now to have a card, a spell, another spell card for Master to Search. Also, sometimes uh, when you summon Reflection out, you want to, and you need another spell card no matter what. Let's say you don't even have Mastery, but you have five monsters. You have Servant, you have Reflection, you have Servers, Jackal, Chronograph, a bunch of monsters. But you somehow trigger, you get reflection on the field with a like spell counter. Well, let's say Servant brings out reflection with the counter or something. You need one more spell card to trigger Mighty Master or something along those lines. Or to trigger a Magister in hand or an Abductor. You get craft your reflection, search the Citadel, and get the spell you're missing. So sometimes you just need the, a one card that's searchable. Side deck. Triple any sort of one reboot, triple evenly. I talk about how to side deck in my Trip Game membership. So sign up if you guys want to see how to side deck properly. But I put in D7 for combo decks. For, uh, for sorry for back row decks just in case you have solemn judgment you want to have as many as you can it's not over signing uh combo decks you have an option of these 10 cards over here uh but triple mine and terraforming is the auto win versus them a lot of times i choose to go second after siding because you have all your options you want against combo decks and going first i have these two to stop uh super poly secret villain sorry super poly dark ruler no more stuff like that and if your opponent has a spellcaster you just go into mascarina and unicorn to get rid of the card Triple Selene, one Crowley, one Daybreaker, one Mascarena. You guys need to play Triple Selene, please. Two for going first, two for turn one, one for the follow up. You need to play these three Link Twos, Appaloosa. So, you sure these are all non debatable. They all come up a lot. Phoenix Unicorn, they all come up a lot. Boral Sword comes up a lot. Boral Lord comes up, uh, is the one that comes up the least, actually. But these, uh, these 11, you must play. Beatrice, Absolute Vortex, absolutely must play these three. These 14 are not debatable. Beatrice is, the, is one of the MVPs in the deck because when you don't have access to your level 7s and you have no way for Selene to summon cards from the graveyard, you need to XYZ a Jackal and a Chrono or even double Jackal and flood the graveyard because you're going to trigger Selene multiple times per turn and your opponent's turn and you cannot your, forget your opponent's turn as well. Selene is too broken not to utilize amazingly uh, and one Borlo because it's the last card, uh, there's uh, one extra slot in the extra deck and Borlo can come up sometimes. So that's the deck. I hope you guys like it. It's absolutely amazing. Test it for yourselves. Consider checking the TripGaming.com new website. Get your amazing merch while you can before they sell out the Celine Playmat, the Mighty Master Playmat. Sign up for the Trip Game membership. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and stay safe through Corona. Later guys, peace.